embedding they are the secret sauce behind every smart ai apps you have ever used from google search to chat gpt memory to the recommendation for you feeds that somehow knows exactly what you want but here's the catch most embedding model are either too big to run locally or too generic to work for your data that's where google's brand new embedding gemma changes the game at just 308 million parameter this tiny beast can run offline on your laptop or even on your phone while still beating model twice its size on the industry gold standard benchmark benchmarks and in this video i am going to show you something google does not teach you in the docs how to fine tune embedding gemma on your own data set so Imagine this, you have got thousands of customer support chats, research paper or even your personal notes. Instead of relying on generic embedding, we'll train Gemma to understand specific domain language so your AI, AI app can answer question more accurately, recommend better context or even become private offline search engine for your file so stick around because end of the tutorial you'll not only know how to fine tune Gemma but also how to evaluate your embedding so you don't just guess that it's working you actually prove it all right let's dive in now let's start the training of this model so we are going to train this on our custom data set for that we'll need to ensure that we are on running on the gpu server so make sure t4 is selected and then install the dependency that it requires so this dependency will take about one or two minutes once this is done you'll need to make sure that the version is correct as i have written in the url so let's clear this out and let's log into hugging faces you'll need to provide the token and once this is done we can download the model from google embedding 300 million parameter model so this will ensure uh, that the model is downloaded but you need to do a sign up or uh, agreement acceptance that you need to do from your side so that will be done in hugging face once this is done we'll need to prepare our data set as a triplet so from data set let's import load data set and we'll create a custom function which is triplet it is going to take two sentences and one negative sentence from this data set we'll get two sentences and their similarity distance so since we know that a similar sentence will have less distance so let's prepare a third sentence from there randomly where the similarity is high so now we will create a condition and we'll take a uh, negative sentence from there we can create a tip triplet anchor and positive is going to be the same but we'll have a far distance embedding as the negative sentence so once this is done uh, from data set we are going to uh, uh, load this and prepare the dev test and train triplet so let's print this out and see how uh, the data set preparation is being done and as here you can see the data set for training has about 1000 examples and for dev and test it's 100 200 and 200 it is having anchor positive and negative and see one of the examples of the training set like a plane is taking off the positive one is a airplane is taking off and the negative is a young wear hair wearing a hat so that makes sense now we need to define the task name which is sts so this task name will be passed to the model which encodes this query into in embedding and also for uh, the documents uh, that we are preparing so once doing that you'll need to do the similarity between the query and your documents this similarity will tell how to are related so here you see i have written one food example where breakfast will should have a higher embedding lower embedding distance compared to rest of these two so let's run it as you can see this is doing pretty well 
from the base model itself so let's say for example if you want to uh, uh, now find the unit on your own data set then you'll have to use the sentence transformers trainer and from there uh, you'll need to pass its a uh, configurable argument and the loss function is multiple negative ranking loss that you'll need to pass your model that prepares your loss and this is these are the arguments uh, we have to take the prompt with the sts task for this i'm going to run it for one epoch and learning rate is very small and we are not going to uh, report this to weights and bias otherwise you can put there then you'll have to log in your weights and bias now this is a custom callback where which at the end of the training it is going to do the evaluation call the evaluation function and will uh, evaluation function is just the same uh, query the document that we have run above here you can see this is going to run it while doing the during the evaluation so once uh, this is done we can start the training and pass the model arguments data set loss function and what is going to be the callback so let's run it and see uh, how how it is working i have already ran it for now i'm going to run it and you can see your gpu consumption will start to increase from there so let's give it a minute uh, it's going to take one about one minutes from here so uh, after the training it is going to save the model and then you can use it for uh, doing the inference on your server or you wanted to host this locally for your use case but this model is very useful for uh, mobile devices and where applications where the latency is matter latency matters and resource constraint devices is going to be very useful so once this training is done you can use this model and thank you for following this session thank you very much